So we have already understood what are the fundamentals of arithmetic and algebra. Now we'll move on to the real statistics. Now to do any statistics, as we said, what we require is numbers. Now where we would get these numbers, we need to collect certain data. And therefore, our first lecture would focus on what? It would focus on collection of data. Now, when we are talking about collection of data, there are four important elements that we would understand. In this lecture, we would focus on cases and variables, sample and population and biasness. However, in the next coming lecture, another subset of this collection of data, we would focus on the research study design. So for today, we would focus on the case versus the variable, that's experiment and the variables, the types of variables which are categorical and quantitative, explanation and response then we would focus on the difference between the population and the sample the various biasness in sampling the types of sampling and uh, besides the sampling biasness what is the non-response bias and the response bias pretty interesting concept and remaining other sources of biasness would be part of it okay clear so moving ahead the very first thing is cases versus variable now case is a single set of data that we collect. So from any individual, the data which is collected is known as case. Now, let's say you are doing an experiment on human population. What you would call as at uh, call the each individual participant as we would call each individual person who is part of our research as participant. Now, let's say I do the same thing on animals. I won't call them participants. I would call them subjects. So just the vocabulary difference that is important here and I can do this study, I can call this as case or another name for this is experiment. So I can call it as experiment or the case. Now in an experiment or the case, there are two important things. One is constant. Constant is a value that remains the same. And this value remains the same for all cases, okay? So we call it as constant. The second is variable. Variable is one which takes different values. So the values would change and therefore we call this as variable. Variable, as the name suggests, it has tendency to vary. Now, if I, be, if I remain too, too much theoretical, probably you would not understand why we are studying all this today. So, as we proceed with each of the sections that we would study, we would bring in certain examples to help this concept understand much more clearly and firmly. So, let's say my first example to understand the cases and the variables here is I want to understand how a fifth class student or a fifth grade student must spend the time on reading and the resultant grades. Clear? Now what is a constant and what is a variable? Constant is any student that I take has to be from 5th grade or 5th class. So this 5th class student is what? 5th class student or a 5th grade student is the constant. Now what is the variable? Variable is the reading hours. Probably some of them would be reading for 2 hours, others would be reading for 10 hours. And grade again, some would get A grade, others would get B, others would get C. So both reading and grades become what? They become variables. Clear? So in this example, we have understood what are constants, what are variables. Let me take another example. I want to understand the relationship between the age and weight of class 10 students. Okay. Now again, class 10 students, so class 10 students would be what? Class 10 student would be constant because any student I choose has to be from class 10 and therefore this would remain same for all the cases. Now probably if the age of the student is 12 years or the age of the student is 15 years, whatever the case, they are from class 10th. 
Now against the age, I am trying to find out the weight of the student, let's say 40 kg, 45 kgs, whatsoever it is. So I am trying to find a relation between age and weight. So both age and weight would be what? They would be variables. So in an experiment, we understand that there are certain things which remain constant, but there are other parameters which vary. Now, these variables can further be classified based on two different criteria. First is categorical versus quantitative variable. The second is explanatory versus response variable.